Is this too close? Too close? Too close? Am I too close? No need to ask anymore. Let's make a device that'll tell you in the most annoying way possible. If you want to keep those knowledge gears greased, please be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Inspired by current life here in Pandemic, uh, I set upon making a social distance detector that will alert you whenever a careless heathen meatbag is all up in your space. I told you to stay away, careless heathen meatbag. Now for future watchers that don't have to worry about the COVID infested air that can kill you, this could also be used as a nice proximity detector or a simple digital ruler. So let's get on the good foot and hop right in. Here's what you're gonna need for this project, a Raspberry Pi Pico, an SSD 1306 OLED display, a piezo buzzer, an HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor, a breadboard, some jumper wires, and some soldering equipment. In the parts list, I listed an ultrasonic sensor, and these little bug-eyed weirdos are really cheap, really simple, and they can tell you how far away an object is. What they do is use echolocation, just like a bat, to determine where an object is. So when we send it a signal, it emits a high-pitched sound that humans can't hear. That's where the ultrasonic part comes in. Then, if an object is present, those sound waves bounce off of it and the sensor listens for those echoed sound waves to come back and then measures how long it took for them to come back. So using that information, we can calculate how far the object is. And to keep things simple, I'm just going to use meters. You can convert sound to distance using this formula. We know the time part, thanks to the ultrasonic sensor, and the speed part would be the speed of sound, which is a constant 340 meters per second. But we have to convert that to microseconds since that's what the ultrasonic sensor uses. So this would be our distance, except for one thing. We're basing this on the echo that we're receiving from the sound. So we need to divide our answer by two to get the real result in meters. All right, this is pretty cool. Let's make it. If you need a beginner's refresher course on the Pico and MicroPython, you can watch my previous videos. The links are in the description. Now, where do we start? Well, let's start by connecting everything to our breadboard. You'll notice that each part has a set of pins and each pin does a specific function. And luckily, these pins have labels to tell us what that function is. Otherwise, you'd have to Google a pinout diagram to know how things are supposed to be wired up. For the ultrasonic sensor, the VCC power goes to pin 40 on the Pico. Ground goes to ground pin, and the trig pin goes to GP3 on the Pico. And then echo goes to GP2. For the display, the VCC goes to pin 36. Ground goes to ground again, SDA goes to GP0, and SEL goes to GP1. Finally, for the buzzer, the ground goes to ground, and the positive goes to GP13. And the head bone's connected to the neck bone, and the neck bone is connected to GP12. This button, press it. This cable, plug it. The button, release it. This program, launch it. Let's code this sucker. Start by importing the necessary dependencies. SSD 1306 requires an external dependency, so to get that, you can go to Tools, Manage Packages, and then search for SSD 1306 and install the MicroPython version of that dependency. Now initialize the display by telling the code where we plugged it into. And we'll do the same thing for the HCSR04 sensor and the buzzer. For the buzzer, we can set the audio frequency and volume to what we want it. Then we'll create a variable for our distance. Now we're going to create our sensor function that turns off the trigger pin, waits, turns it on, waits, and then turns it back off. Then we gather the time it takes to return as an echo and store it as the time passed variable. Finally, we can use our formula to calculate the distance in meters and return that value. Now we can create our main loop. We'll nest it inside a try statement to account for any potential errors, and then we'll make a while true loop. Inside that loop, we're gonna clear the display and then get the sensor results, and we can check to see if those results are less than our target distance. Then if it is, we can sound the buzzer and print too close to the screen. 
Otherwise, we can turn the buzzer off and print the distance results to the screen. Then save it to your Pico as main.py and this will ensure it runs automatically whenever the Pico is first plugged in. For testing purposes, I actually changed the target distance to be a lot closer just so I could see if it worked. Surprisingly, it actually works pretty well. So let's put some lipstick on this pig and make it all pretty. For the first time ever, I wanted to try my hand at making a custom circuit board. And this being my first time, I wanted to go the simple route. So I got into fritzing and laid out my circuit and then switched to PCB to design the PCB. Then I exported the results for production as a Gerber file and then uploaded it to the PC manufacturer of my choice. I tried both OSH Park and PCB Way and both gave me great results. Once I got the PCBs in, I soldered all the components to it, including the Pi Pico using its castellated connectors, and then I tested it out to make sure that the board was actually working. Finally, I mocked up a quick case in Tinkercad and printed it out on my 3D printer. Once everything was inside, I plugged it in and voila! DIY Careless Heathen Meatbag Proximity Detector. Now, if this video was too fast for you to follow along, don't worry, you can find all the details about this project in the project page, which you can find in the video description. You can click here to watch more videos like this, and please remember to support me by sharing, liking, subscribing, or commenting. And until next time, keep tinkering.